rumors. The gals say there's some pervo on the loose, a sexual predator, you know. You must be him with that ugly mug of yours. You look like a retard. Oh, okay. All right, lady. For a moment there, I was going to have some sympathy for you, but as they say, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Getting that kind of freaking nice deal. Burn some ooh, sunflowers. To grow those as a kid. A mall. Can we go in this room? Take the bottle. That's good. Because now I can put water in it. Canned meat. Nice. I can't take any of the melons. It sucks. Alright, so that's the main city it looks like over there. Check the trash bins. Which is good. Put her down. <laughs> yeah. Rapanui. I I was thinking about it. Oh. If I didn't have to deal with the rest of the damn town, I might have. Shy, small young man walks around the streets. When he sees you, he turns to you and extends his hand. You grab it without thinking too much and almost cry out. The palm of the man's hand is cold, sweaty, and clammy. Okay. Did I just make a mistake? Catch something? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the way she was talking, I'm pretty sure no one would uh, mind at all either. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure the guards might uh, get a little upset. They seem to do that for some damn reason. Don't know why yet. Adam Blinovich, head of the Victim Society for the Victims of Doc Veselov, the infamous medium and pseudoscientist. You are a victim as well? Nah, you're not. You don't even look like a victim, so why are you here? Who's Doc Veselov, and who are his victims? The man suddenly covers his face with his hands and sneezes. He puts his hands back into his pockets. You notice they are now covered in green boogers and smelly slime. With a voice that would make anyone fall asleep, drones on. Ooh. Just shook his damn hand. <laughs> Who's Doc Veselov? Everyone knows Doc Veselov. Where I am from, he's a right bastard. He created this pseudoscientific theory and we are his victims. There, there's so many. Get one new member each month continue listening in silence. Some of us he made strong, yet stupid. Some were made smart, yet sickly. His theory that created way back before there was was this. Every person is formed from several so-called characteristics he calls stats, like strength, dexterity, luck, or endurance. <laughs> Doctor has a monopoly on victims. You are there to compete. Adam will become your first. Alright. Those stats. You want to come on over? Come on over. i give you a little scratchy. Tons of people started practicing his teachings. Everyone wanted to be strong and fast nowadays, right? But what he didn't warn us about is that as you grow one stat, you lower the others. Why I can now do this. The man takes several small objects like soap, dried bread, and some bottle caps out of his pockets and starts juggling them with amazing dexterity. Even though what he does is beyond most human, you feel bored as you watch him. See how agile I am? But the agility cost me my charisma. Now my wife has left me saying that she's afraid to die of boredom. <laughs> my friends tell me I make them feel depressed and ignore me. Also, I look creepy and sound like a robot. Oh god. <laughs> Hey, no, I'll go get to see. I'll go get that doc and make him fix you. I know where this is going, and my answer is no. I won't help you find the doctor, and we'll make him fix you up. Sorry, but I can't help you find the doctor right now. Let's have, let's go see the the doctor because maybe we can. I wonder if you can respec with this guy. What? Why would you think we need any help? Doctor Vislov is actually long dead. Oh, son of a bitch! Some of the folks here made strong. By turning them mentally retarded, tore him to pieces way back when. The bastard got what he deserves. I had to put boiling water inside my anus for a month because of him. Some folks have it even worse. For example, one guy became so lucky, he now finds canned goods everywhere he goes. Yet, his endurance is low, and his stomach is so weak, he just vomits everything back up. 
And when he doesn't, he gets blood in his farts. My god. So no, no, help is needed. I am simply keeping a list of victims. I take what they can spare and share it with those who have it the worst. Personality. Look, buddy. What you told me isn't even possible. Plus, you're saying you don't have any charisma, yet you're leader of a whole victim society. Quit making yourself think you're worthless. Boop. Man pouts. It's not as Christian to poke fun at victims, friend. All right, let's change. Questions hold up. Just a few more questions. Look, well, if you really like spending time with me, sure. Okay, the man answers you with an annoying, boring, droning noise reminding me you have nails scraping along a chalkboard. Well, I could talk to you. Most people tend to avoid my company. <sighs> I don't want anything more. Just, just change. I'm done with you, dude. Man, the checks are brutal in this game. Almost feel like you just want. You should just focus like on a, just a couple stats, and that's damn it. Put stacks over here. Got the door. Oh, damn. Taking all your freaking core. Or, okay, these are individuals. Corn! I wonder what you can do with corn. You need to find a fire. Can I cook corn? And boil corn. Alright. Else? Nope. Man, I wish I could cook at these places. Oh, there's a trash bin out back. I guess I'll go rummage around in that. Check it out real quick. Got, looks like two people left. This space intentionally left blank. Okay. Good news. The toilet? Nope. So we got... Old lady. Oh, wait. Uh. Okay, we already talked to you. Okay. Okay, okay we already talked to you, too. Alright. So, they move around pretty freaking quick. Okay. So it looks like we're done with the outside. So let's head on into the big city. Got. Can I help? Your body armor and your weapon. Alright. Got some hunger going on, so let's fish. You see a tall, strong man in heavy armor and then... Shanka hat. He turns to you while simultaneously grabbing an automatic rifle hanging from his neck. Well, well, well. The interested in city costs 30 rubles. It's a fee. 30? Well, that's not too bad. Hey, that's a real ripoff. Give me a discount. Where does this fee come from? Who comes up with charging people for the entrance? Nah, I simply felt like talking to you. Oh, well, then I'll be on my way. I'm well, speaking out of line. It's not a ripoff. It's our standard price. Or you don't think that any street rat can freely walk into our city. Their guard gives you an angry look. Suddenly he blinks as if having noticed something important about you. The eyes suddenly widen as he takes a step back from you. He looks genuinely. He seems so terrified. Oh, oh, oh my. How come I didn't notice it straight away? You are a... You have Krasnov syndrome? No way. I can't let a sick man into the city. Epidemic the last thing we need. <laughs> intellect. Maybe you are also infected. <laughs> Let's see, intellect. This whole Krasna syndrome is just a rumor. There is no such thing. First day, maybe you are also infected. Let me see. Bailey, you lean toward the guard to check his pulse, trying to look like you know what you're doing. However, it's obvious that your act isn't fooling anyone. The guard just grins and stops and lifting the barrel of his rifle. No way, bro. Don't try to bullshit me. The sick person is the one who diagnosed the healthy one. It'd be good for you to get some help from the city hospital, but I can't let you in just like that. The man pretends to think really hard, then a mischievous grin appears on his weather-beaten face. 
Oh, I do have a kind heart. I'll let you pass, but for a thousand ruples. Are you for real? Where does it have... Where would I have this much money from? Failure. Okay, yeah, I haven't passed a single speech check in this game yet. Starting to... I have 60 speech. That's my highest stat. It's always... Cut them down and you get a free gun. You know? That is an option. It's obvious that the guard hasn't taken your words seriously. A mocking expression appears to, on his face. Well, isn't this a great question? I don't know, but I feel like you of all people should be able to make this kind of money. You need to get into the city, right? Of course you do. I'll get back to you. Okay, so... I'm really getting tired of with people. I'm tired of my speech check failing. I'm trying to make a speech character, and it ain't doing jack. Okay. A little closer. Alright. Oh, damn. That didn't work out as well as I thought. Did I forget? I don't think I saved it right before I did that, did I? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, hold up. Rapid Nui. <laughs> yeah. That one didn't work. So we're going to try something else now. <laughs> yeah, I saved it. <sighs> Alright, so let's go around the other way. I thought I saw another guard over here. Get in this way. So, can I just walk in? Okay. Speechcraft. Are you free or what would I have this much money from? Failure. Barter. Nope. Speechcraft. Barter. This eventually work? No. I get back to you. Are you for real? Alright. So I can't get into the city now unless I have a thousand ruples. That blows ass. Alrighty, so let's see what quest. We have some quests that we can do, though. Let's head on out. See where they take us. So if I would have just paid his ass 30 right up front, I could have got in. Okay. What sucked is my partner did not put on his shovel. Kick somebody's ass for me. So, actually, take this off. And... Actually, we better put that on. We have several quests. One is to go back to the town that we started in. I'm going to do that. My map now. Oh, sure. We got here. Achievement unlocked, Wanderer. So why didn't you use that shovel as a weapon? Continue. How do you feel? Let's discuss tactics. This tactics here lies. Okay. Press rings. I'm enjoying you running across the war zone, chasing the enemy, behaving in an exceptionally broke way. Shh. See, Fidel, I have an additional offer. So no, I'm afraid you have to. Okay. So let's discuss your tactics. Killing her woman to wear her skin to get in, Rapa Nui? Uh, I don't think that's going to work for one simple reason. I'm probably too tight of a fit. And I don't think, uh, I think her breasts kind of sag a little. So I might notice the difference. And the beard, I think. I'd have to shave and do a lot of different. I think it's more maintenance than it's worth. But hey, good idea. I like it. I like it. Keep them coming. Maybe maybe we can work with some. Uh, okay, so... Apparently, he did not use the shovel. 
sucks. I guess we... All right. Uh, see what happens. What do we got here? Just a locale. Head we in. On that. Okay. It's a way station. Out of plant. Mushroom. So, picking up some mushroom. Anything else here? More mushroom. Okay. I wonder if I should have went back and talked to Igor and told him I couldn't get into town. Guards. So that's something we'll have to worry about. But uh, we do have some quests that I think that are dear to deal with. Can't rotate my map today. That's fun. Okay. So go here. A long ass walk. Okay. It's your trading caravan. Let's meet the caravan. Nice cow. Water, let's do this right now. Show me your stuff. What do you got? That. Probably that. Let's trade you. So this uses five, four, five rounds and then seven, six, two. I'm going to keep that. 14.5. This is a heavy machine gun and anti material rifle cartridge used by the Soviet Union form of Warsaw Pact. Holy hell, that is a huge freaking bullet. Guess we'll pay with corn? No, oh, keep the corn. Maybe it'll sell better in a different locale. So, I'm going to keep both the weapons, which are pretty good. Just paying root right now. Done. Great. Check to make sure. Get some 730. Oh. Trade. Oh, wait. Gotta actually pay the man money. Done. Trade. Let's see what we got. Passing through. Alright. So, if I use just a pistol. Give you the bat will you actually use combat that's the question continue <clears throat> tactics there's your situation with the ammo okay nope it's great let's change oh. alrighty let's do a hard save Our quest has us going back up to Ultra Donye. Oh, walk past them. That. Walking. Quick save. Hey, legalized mids. Thanks for the lurk, man. Going live here shortly? Walk past them. Okay. So we got some better. We're not having to encounter a whole bunch of people like we did yesterday. My God. Okay. Ambushed by bandits. Knock your way out of it. Oh, we actually made... That's our first successful check. Managed to talk your way out of this predicament. They're free to go on your merry way. We got 40 EXP for it. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's go into town. So the mushroom cult has us talking to some other crazy folks in here. We can go fishing too. Go fishing a little bit later on. Work and wait. I better go to sleep. 
Where are these crazy people that are? Wonder if it's a certain time of day. Map. What time is it? Oh, it's sixteen hundred. Twelve hours. So it's thirty-one. Wait, three. Okay. Damn. We actually need. we want to eat. I thought we uh, picked up some... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Wait until the morning. So it's 9.32. Alright, so groups, travelers. See a beard man in a police cap and an old duster. On his back sits an old travel bag. Judging by the sheets of paper stuffed in the bag, this man is a real life postman. Oh. Got rounds. Got one seven. Okay. Continue. Hey, buddy, no letter for you, I'm afraid. Hey, can I ask you some questions? What do you want to know? What are you busy with? Well, as you can see, I deliver mail. Dangerous work these days, but some someone's got to do it. Who do you work for? Chamber of Commerce of Krasnovia. Krasnaz Amnye. Whatever. I'm not good at that. The local government, in other words, their seat of power, as you can tell by their name, is in the city. From there, well, they don't really rule around these parts. Mostly they just sell TVs at a low price to brainwash the locals with propaganda. Okay. That's all because they managed to repair the TV tower at the river. Don't think I'm too harsh on them, though. It's clear that they are basically thugs, but at least they are trying to become a real government. They even hired me to deliver the mail, just like in the old days. Yeah, so is there a lot of mail to deliver? You wouldn't believe it. I barely cope with the amounts. I'm always asking the boss to hire more postmen because, although people look at the idea of creating a postal service, at first they soon learned how great it really is. Now I'm delivering heaps of documents, letters of inquiry, and even love letters all over the place. People are really social animals. Who do you work for? Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, the local government. Okay. Now that's thinking positively. Can I ask another question? Who are you? I spent most of my time on the road moving from village to village. I visit all the places around here. Most people don't like me, even bad ones. That's all because I'm a reminder of good old times. I'm carrying mail. That not at all bad in this is it scary to travel alone it's pretty scary the roads are stalked by hungry dogs and wolves there are also monsters nobody ever seen before the war not to mention the bandits i was shot i was knifed i was punched and i was bitten but i'm still alive and kicking holy hell and i would not change this job for anything not because i have this gun a fancy cap and my salary but because I'm, by doing my job i'm bringing back order into the world one letter at a time this feeling keeps me warm even in the coldest of nights what about the places where the people don't take kindly to you there are these two the people are angry and scared in many places some believe that anyone who wanders the roads out there to get them so they attack first killing for them is like drinking vodka for guys like you second nature in that case is it scary for you to travel the roads okay uh, it's pretty scary. The roads are stocked by hungry dogs and will their mots. Okay. I see. Better go now. Alright, so there was supposed to be some crazy people coming up here and talking about their nonsense, but. I don't see them. If they were going to come to town, talk to people, I would think easy to find them. Talk to the chief, I guess, real quick. He has to say. Where you stands, the head of the community. It seems possible to relay. Okay, yeah. I have something to tell you about the bandits. I have intel on the captives inside the bandit camp. Oh my, oh my. That must be Steblev, our mechanic. 
He was walking around drunk, telling everyone he became a millionaire. The bandits probably mistook his queer sense of humor for the truth. We need to get him out of there now. I could try and do that, and what if I... I could try and do that. Yes, that's what we need. I don't... I don't how, though. That's just what we need. I don't know how, though. Something tells me that the bandits hold them out of spite for no real benefit of their gang. I think maybe, maybe bought out of there from the so-called care, but you will need to talk to their boss to do that. I see. Well, I'll try and do just that. Bye. Good luck. You'll need it. Uh, hold on. I have something else to tell you about the bandits. Nope. So maybe you can talk about Katya Rek. Chinko. Kavilov seems to warm up. His gaze quickly turns suspicious. The strict old man takes a step back and squints his eyes at you. Are you interested? Your voice did change when you spoke about her. Konrov Kavilov shivers as he hears your words and bouts begins talking in an academic manner. A good friend of her parents back before the war, back before she was born. She grew up in our village, which is very close. To same kind heart, same sad look. She is like a daughter to me, the last reminder of her mother and father and my friend. It's crap. I'm going to fail this, but we're going to try it anyway. That's not the whole story, is it, Kam? Ed Kovlev. Don't worry. Tell me. Pour your heart out. Oh my god, I actually freaking succeeded. That's quite a weight on my shoulders, you know. Quite the weight. He rubs his great temples. He says nothing. After a few long moments, he straightens. His face looks flushed. His lips are pressed tightly together. Katya, she is my daughter. Whoa! Didn't see that coming. Yeah, right. Little twist. I knew her parents for a long time. I've served together with Vasya's father. I lost all contact with him after that. He just disappeared from the radar. But then suddenly he showed up in my town with his wife. He was transferred here for some engineering work. And I already worked as a detective with him. Showed back then. Fought crime. We became friends. Very much so indeed. Soon after Vashya was born, his dad even wanted me to become his godfather. It was a common practice for intelligence, intelligentisa back then. Regretfully, I declined. He was always on the road because of his job. Went to Kras, no door, no, to the different cities everywhere. His wife waited for him, but life can get very boring in such a small town. She was a very smart woman from a good family. Because of her, I read Hemingway and Remark and all the other great classics. Comrade Kovalev starts rubbing the bridge of his nose, fatigued. It seems that for a man so used to speaking short, clear phrases, it's very difficult for him to speak at length about such a delicate topic. I fell in love with her, never told to anyone, not friends. I couldn't even admit it to myself, but once, oh, once, I visited her when her husband was. We sat quietly for a time. It became so lonely, so sad, inside my very soul. I never had a family. My parents died in World War II, and I never had a wife. Only my job. I don't know. I just looked out the window, and there was that moon. I looked at the moon as if it was enchanted by it. That moon was like a window into another life, where everything was right. Understand me. The old man looks out the window, transfixed. It. Fixed as though see not the dusty wall of the nearby shack but that same enchanting and when I turned to her you know she had that look in her eyes a piercing look as if she understood me at that very moment she understood everything about me and about herself we were thinking and after that all happened on its own and Katya was born I wanted to tell the truth about everything but then the bombs fell the epidemic started and the time for talking had passed many people died those first days and his parents were among them. First he died, and days later she followed. Oh, say nothing. I see, but why didn't you tell Katya? Why would she need to know the truth? Let her. Th